Cats can read. Hey guys, it's Katie. Today is Monday and it's the start of a new weekly reading vlog where I let you guys know in a vlog sort of style everything that I get up to throughout the week. Not necessarily just reading, I also work as well, a full time job, and I also do other things as well apart from reading, like I play games and that sort of thing. So sometimes my weeks can be really fun, but it's just so that you guys can dip your toes into my life that's behind the camera of most of my videos. So today it's already like late in the afternoon, like I don't even know what time it is because last time I remember it was probably like 4 o'clock. It's probably early in that or probably later, who knows, I've obviously got the time wrong. <laughs> but the day's gone by. So I've actually been awake since it feels like about 8 o'clock or half 9 actually. Half 9 seems quite a strong time to me, it's, it's, I'm getting a sense it's about half 9. But I know it was early because I remember Ben messaging me saying, hey how are you, how are you feeling? And I was just like, I am tired. Um, and then I got up and I went to the toilet and then I made myself a mocha and then I was like well I'm going to edit some more videos because the video finished editing throughout the night and early morning so I restarted my laptop I did another video and I edited and uploaded my weekly reading vlog from last week so that's up now and I've just literally finished editing the Listen to Your Heart by Casey West book review video and I also edited and uploaded my July book haul that's what I did earlier this morning so really i am just been doing a lot of videos um, video wise what I've got left to edit um, I've got my Castle Point book haul which I went shopping this time last week and um, it's Castle Point so I need to edit and upload that video. I have filmed my August TV already. Obviously I can't film my wrap up because there's still today and tomorrow left of July and who knows, I could finish another book. Who knows? So I'm off work today. I did have a phone call from work this morning. Um, it was... Actually, yeah, because they did... Yeah, so the, so the phone call from work actually woke me up. Um, and they were like, can you work today? And I was like guys I'm ill still I know what I'm feeling a lot better now actually like I seem a lot better now but this morning I was still feeling really rough so it just goes to show like throughout the day getting myself going moving you know going downstairs getting my books ready for the book you know TBR you know it can help and I've also eaten as well today I've had some soup it was chicken noodle soup and um, I also had some avocados that I needed to use, otherwise they'll go off. So I had some avocados, cucumber, lettuce, and I put a bit of mayo in it, so it was kind of like a, a greens paste. But it went really nice with the soup. I didn't pour it in the soup, I just had it. It's like I had a bit of soup and then a bit of that, and it was actually kind of really nice together. So like a house salad. But So I've had some greens. Um, I've had my vitamins, my cod with oil, I've had my antibiotics, um, my nan came over and then she dropped off some paracetamol, some ibuprofen, some heat pads for my back, because my lower back was, it still hurt, it was really hurting earlier. And then, after I edited the previous video whilst I was uploading, I decided to put on my show DVD, because I got a DVD of it, and then I watched my show first, and then I watched the other two mini shows, and then afterwards I'm just like, oh, I miss the show so much. And like, I'm having after show blues because realistically, like today would be rehearsal day, but there's no rehearsal to go to. It's, it's just, yeah, it's, it's weird. But yeah, it was really nice to sort of watch the DVD, so that was really cool. So I haven't actually done any reading today, I've mostly been editing videos, then I've had some lunch. And then I watched the show, and now I'm just like, well shit, the bitch you've been started today, and I haven't read anything yet. Yeah. So, from my TBR video, I did a coin toss of which book I would start with first, and that was between Beauty Queens and this book, and this one won. 
So, Secrets of a Teenage Heiress by Katie Batchel is my first book. It was actually a review book that I have received. It also goes towards a challenge of a book with five words in the title. So that was that was either a TBR Joy Challenge or a 52 Week Challenge, I can't really remember, but I just know that that is towards the challenge. So this is a very shortish book, it's about 300 pages in it, so um, I'm going to start reading this. I'm hoping it makes me laugh because it seems like it's going to be very, very funny because this is literally about um, this girl and they have this hotel that they live at and then all of a sudden there's like the biggest pop star on the planet is a guest. I feel like it's going to be good. So I'm very excited to give that a read. I've just made myself a cup of tea. So I'm just going to quickly film my day one beginning vlog of the book to be done and then I'm going to get started to reading. So I'm just going to go now and I will see you guys pretty soon just to let you know how well I've done. Hey guys, it's Tuesday and I'm here to update you on everything that happened yesterday as well as tell you my plans for today. So yesterday I started reading for the Booktubeathon at 4pm, believe it or not, it was quite late. So I started reading Secrets of a Teenage Heiress by Katie Virtual and I actually flew through a lot of this. Before I actually fell asleep, I read 200 and 39 pages. So I'm on page 239 of this book. And I took a sleeping pill, so that's why I couldn't read any more. It got to about midnight. It took a while for it to kick in because I slept really funny on Sunday. I slept most of the day, so it kicked me a bit out of my sleeping pattern. So I just needed a sleeping pill just to put me back into place again. And I might take another one at tonight as well just to sort of help me with the flow but yeah I'm really proud that I read loads yesterday I just I couldn't put this book down I found it really hard the only time I ever put it down was to go back to sort like editing my videos again because I edited quite a few videos yesterday I after this video this morning because I'm editing my August TBR and it's just currently processing into a file and then it'll be uploaded straight to YouTube after that so, I've just done that. I won't have any videos to do because I've edited my weekly vlog. I did that last night, my weekly reading vlog for last week. So I'm all up to date in videos. They're all scheduled and ready to go. So really the next thing to film would be tomorrow, which would be my wrap up for July. So it'll be really good if I can get this book finished this morning and today because that'll be another book read towards July because today's the last day of July and I could have so easily have read this book yesterday and I'm obviously trying to read seven books because I want that certificate so really proud of my reading this book is amazing it's so funny if you really like Georgia Nicholson um, those books by Louise Renison and there's like that little spin-off series, the Withering Tights and all that. If you love those sort of books, and also Geek Girl series by Holly Smale, the really hilarious books, and this is definitely from Katie Birchall, is amazing. Her writing is just fantastic, it flows so well. I'm reading this book and I'm flying through it, just like I did with like the Geek Girl series. It's just so much hilarity in this. It's almost like Katie Birchall and Holly Smale are best friends or something. It's so, so funny. I totally recommend it and the sequel to this I think comes out in a couple of months time, like in September I think. I can't wait that long. So I'm hoping um, that I'll be able to get an, even an e-arc of this because it's, it's amazing, so amazing. I love it so, so much. I did have an e-arc of this book actually and I feel so ashamed I didn't get around to reading it. So yeah, I've met Katie in real life actually, Katie Virtual. I, I met her when um, she wrote her um, but it's, it got re-themed and retitled, but Superstar Geek, and I can't remember what it was named now. I feel like it was something silly, something awkward, but yeah, she, she's a really nice person. Obviously, we share a cool name, and yeah, I'm, I'm loving her book so far. 
So literally less than 100 pages. I can easily finish this this morning. Look at that guys, it's barely anything. So the plans for today is obviously read, read, read. I don't have anywhere to go in particular. I'm feeling so much better in myself. I'm obviously still taking antibiotics. Um, I feel like I'm on the end of my cold because I'm still feeling that lag in my body. Um, so that's good. So I might take another cold and flu tablet just to sort of like ease off the cold, really. And it also contains like paracetamol on that, so that could help because I've got this very sort of fading headache that's just going on. It's just in the back of my head. It's just sort of there but not there if that makes sense where my head just feels like kind of lost but as you can tell I'm feeling a lot better myself Ben is also ill I don't know what he's got but he was telling me that he was coughing up blood and stuff yesterday and I'm just like that is disgusting but also bless you I hope you get better soon so I don't know the next time I'll see Ben when he has fully recovered hopefully um, I think he's got chest infection so he's just like a worse stage up than me but who knows I could have given him some sort of germs so I feel a little bit guilty on that point but can't help it germs are just spread so the plan really is honestly just to read read and read as it's day number two of the booktube -thon. so I'm trying to think of the next book that I want to read it's going to be between Island Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins and Queens of Geek by Jem Wilde um, I'm kind of leaning towards Queens of Geek, so I might go towards that end. Plus, that book has been on a lot of my TBRs as well, so it would be good to get that book read. So I think once I finish this, I'll go on to Queens of Geek, and we shall go from there. So that's all I'm going to really say for today. There's nothing else that I kind of like want to do. As of such, I just mainly want to focus on my reading as it's the last day of July. So tomorrow things are obviously going to be a bit different because I've got a couple of things I need to do. Hygienist and then in the evening I've got my eye talk thing that's workshop thing that's going on. Which I don't know how that's going to be but we shall see. So I'm just going to go off now to film my day two vlog for the Bitubulon. And then I'll go back to finishing this lovely book. I'm, I'm feeling such an urge to give it a read. So I'll see you guys for now. Hey guys, it's Wednesday and I'm here to update you on everything that happened yesterday as well as plans for today. So yesterday I started Queens of Geek by Jen Wild and then I got up to page 176 by the end of the day so I read all that and you know all this reading is really good for me because as you are aware I'm a very slow reader so to read that much even in a day with you know all sorts of things like concentration and things like that it's really really good for me so I'm really proud of that I'm not necessarily upset that I didn't get to finish it because I can always finish it today so I'm really, really happy with that so today um, I'm off work again, I had like, originally I had three days off work but I swapped my Sunday for some on Saturday so I'll be back on Saturday this week so I'm working Thursday, Friday and Saturday and then I have Sunday off so I'm off again today which is handy because I've got my hygienist appointment at 10.50, I need to leave in just under 10 minutes because I'm walking to go there, yeah I'm finally walking. So I've had my shower, I'm all dressed, got my sunnies on because the sun is shining outside so I'm ready to go walking and then I'm off to post a couple of parcels. One I need to post first class, the other one is international. I'm basically trading off my, <clears throat> my arc of Carve the Mark by Veronica Roth and traded it off with another arc and a couple of bookmarks. So I'm really happy for that. Um, so that's going off to America so hopefully that arrives safely. So I've got that to do today. I'm currently doing my washing, which is like my bedding. I've changed my bedding, as you can tell, the sheets are different. So clean sheets. I was waiting for me to recover from this cold before I actually changed the sheets. So I've done that today. So it's like a fresh start to the day. So after I have had my hygienist and then posted the parcels, I will come back here. I'll get some reading done. So more reading of this. And then this evening at six o'clock, 
in Lyndhurst Community Centre I have got my iTalk workshop to go to so I have to leave around like I don't know quarter past five just to make sure I get there ahead of time just so that I know where to go and things like that I'm kind of nervous I'll be more nervous close towards the time but I am feeling quite nervous now because I know it's gonna be like other people and I don't know how it's gonna go but hopefully it helps me and I benefit from it so really that's honestly going to be the plan for today it's just doing those couple of things and then reading in between so I'm going to leave you now and if anything it changes or anything different happens I'll let you know hey guys so today is Thursday and I'm just here to quickly update you on my reading so yesterday I went to my hygienist appointment in the morning like late morning so had my teeth all clean properly and like tea stains and coffee stains were just wiped off and I was like oh my god this is what I pay the money for and then I did some reading during the midday and then I went off to my iTalk workshop I got stuck in traffic which then gave me like major anxiety and I was 15 minutes late to the workshop however I caught up really quickly the workshop was actually quite all right considering and um, so it's going to be weekly every Wednesday same time same place so I'm actually looking forward to the next workshop and they said that we can do it as many times as we feel comfortable sort of thing so I'm going to see how I feel after all of the sessions and go from that so I came back here and then I did a bit of reading and I ended up finishing, guys, Queen of Geek by Jamal. I ended up finishing it before the day was over. But I marked it on my Goodreads this morning because <laughs> I finished it and then I just went, poof, I just collapsed. But I ended up giving this book a 5 out of 5 kick outs because I actually really enjoyed the story and it's very sort of geeky, it's like Comic Con sort of thing. There's kind of like two separate stories but they all like hang together so there's two perspectives we have Charlie the girl and we have Taylor the girl and Charlie is kind of like bisexual and she's also Australian and she's got like Chinese in her as well so there's a lot of diversity in this book which is really good Taylor she suffers with severe anxiety like social anxiety and just normal anxiety and it's portrayed really really well so obviously we can see that Jen Wilde has suffered with anxiety as well I get anxiety myself so I know exactly what it's like so I could honestly relate to this book a lot and I actually sort of really enjoyed it because of that because I could relate to these characters but yeah it's, it was like a comic-con adventure and yeah I just really enjoyed it so check out my review of this when I get around to filming it and uploading it for you guys but yeah definitely definitely recommend this book for all of you so I'm moving on to a sky painted gold by Laura Wood I changed this book on my TBR and I'm going to change it um, what did I change it with I changed it with oh to read with a hat so I'm going to wear a hat got my hat waiting for me outside this bedroom so I'm gonna wear a hat whilst I read this book every time I read this book I'm gonna put a hat on so I haven't started it yet because I had work today um, so I haven't done any reading today whatsoever so I'm just going to go to bed now and I'm gonna start it and see if I can read at least a chapter I am so falling asleep though so I'm gonna doze off so I'm literally just gonna read this oh guys i just watched two episodes of the originals i think what was it season three i feel like i watched episode nine and ten. Oh, the end of episode 10 i'm hooked i'm hooked into it again i stopped watching it i don't know why because i love it so much and now i've got back into it again because i was like i'm not watching my netflix i'm paying for it but i'm not watching it and i watched two episodes and i was just like oh and like there's bits of the episode clip with Christmas and I was just like smiling stupidly but I oh, loved it so much but the cliffhanger ending 
well as I'm just gonna have to watch a couple of episodes tomorrow evening if I'm still awake we shall see because I'm working another long day shift tomorrow but my shift today at work actually went really well all things considered I'm I'm so much better in myself I'm feeling really, really really good in myself I gave a couple of presents to my home manager and the guy that does the rotor and I did a card and wrote to both of them um, I just, I only spent like, I mean the sweets were in a quid each sort of thing, but I just gave them a bag of sweets each and I was just like, look, it's just a little thank you just because you sorted the rope so that I could do my show and it means a lot to me, so even just a small little gesture of thank you. And they were like, oh, thank you. So I'm like, I'll well, just wait and see because the next time I do a show, I'll just get you another sweets again, bribe you, you know. But you know, I think as long as I do the compromise like I did last time where you know, every Monday and Wednesday, I can I can still work at like till four, or even till seven, as long as I can do my rehearsal. And then I could just work the hours other other times. Like I'll work a day at the weekend or so, like on the other weekend or, so, or something like that. And that's pretty much what I did. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty good in myself. Um, all things considered, so today like went really well. I was like, yeah, put me with anybody. I don't care. So I just worked. Just worked. And it's just, it's the smiles on the service user's faces, which I was just like, I love my job. I love it so much. I know when, when something is too much. I know when I'm not working enough. Like, when I feel like, oh God, I'm being lazy. I'll just go off and do something. Like, I don't like sitting around a lot. I, I'm walking around so much. In fact, stepometers say, 10,514 steps, which apparently is 909 calories. Now I had two ice creams today for my dinner. Well, I had one like late afternoon and then I wasn't hungry at dinner time and then I had an ice cream at quarter to eight this evening. So I'm just gonna say that was my dinner. So all things considered, I've burnt, I've burnt that off today. Um, my back started killing though as soon as I got home from work so obviously the moving around is doing my back really really well but resting isn't. So yeah I'm gonna go off and get some reading done now because I need to because the bit too bit on is still going on. I'm working two long days the next couple of days. I'm in charge tomorrow so I'm probably not going to get any reading done because we're meant to have somebody from I think like head office or something come and visit us tomorrow so I'm kind of pooping my pants because I'm in charge and also I think someone's coming to visit some of the service users as well I'm just going to try and get them all out to have a good day they're only coming to see them in the morning so hopefully they see them and then they go and then the guys can go out and have a really nice day I'm I've literally got one day left of my antibiotics. So I've got this abscess. Basically, the abscess is here. And it's still there. It hasn't gone. So I'm thinking in the next couple of days, like I'm gonna I'm gonna see how it goes. I think if I still have this abscess on Monday and if it's still irritating me, because I've also got a swollen gland like abscess thing going on over here. I think I've got a mini abscess going on here with my other armpit. So it's something there's something going on anyway so I think if I've still got them I'll see or at least speak to the doctor over the phone and be like look I've had these antibiotics I've still got them what do I do do I need another course of antibiotics to flush it out or do I just wait and let it go let it go let it go I don't want these abscesses anymore I'm gonna go because clearly I need to sleep and I will hopefully speak to you guys tomorrow, let you know how my day has gone at work. But I'm going to get some reading done. I need to. I need to. I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, so today is Saturday evening and I'm just here to update you on reading and what I've been up to. So I apologise I didn't actually vlog on Friday. I was in charge and it was a very, very hectic shift. However, all things considered, I think I did the best that I could and I think all things considered, considering it was all just kind of going downhill really in all sorts of places, I think it went reasonably well and I felt satisfied. 
was very sort of like stressed at the end of the shift so when I arrived home I pretty much picked out a cider for my fridge and then put on the originals on Netflix and I watched two episodes and then I went to bed because today I had to go into work at 7 this morning so I had to pretty much get up at 6ish and then leave to get to work at 7 because I had to then go to the hospital to be one of the um, services that was at the hospital so I spent most of my shift there today and then I went back to the house so yeah so it's just it's been it's been very busy so I haven't actually done any reading in either of the days I knew I would do when I was in charge anyway and although I did bring something to read whilst I was at the hospital I didn't read because I was spending more time there let's just say that so that's all I can really say on the matter because it's my job I can't say anymore so that's just all that happened so this evening since coming home from work I grabbed another cider because I needed it I'm very very tired I worked 13 hours today so and it's my third long day shift bravo bravo thank you Thank you, because I worked Thursday long day, Friday long day, and today long day plus one hour. <laughs> so I'm very very tired. Tomorrow I should be seeing Ben. So I'm going to have a lay in. We'll see how long I lay in for, and then I will need to do some washing and have a shower before I leave. Those are two main things that I need to do. Come next week. I will need to find the doctors again because my dose of antibiotics have run out and I've still got my abscess here plus a mini one and that is over here. There's like a little build up over here. So I've still got them. <laughs> they haven't disappeared. So I'm going to need to go into the doctors again and go from there. So we'll, we'll see how next week goes hopefully it does go quite well so that's it really that's all that's happened and this very evening I need a little bit of time to unwind I feel like it won't take me long so until then I'm going to read some more of a sky painted gold by Laura Wood I couldn't remember if I showed you, but I didn't actually realise this copy was signed. I can't remember if I showed that in my book or but I was, as I was opening it to start it the other night, I was like, it's signed. What? So that's a nice surprise. So I'm going to go off and give that a little read before I dropped off, although I'm feeling myself even now, just like, oh, this is just nice, just shutting my eyes. So it probably won't take me long, but it's really, really hot in my flat. I've got the windows open, not like very vastly open because I'm scared that I'm going to have massive spiders crawling through my windows. So I've, I've got them open enough to get some fresh air in, especially my main one that's at the top top. But I need to breathe, so I need at least one window to be widely open. But it's very, very hot very very hot it's been really hot today so i'm glad that i was inside a building today where it was just cooler inside than it was out it was crazy so that's all i'm gonna do i'm gonna lay on top of the covers i think i'm gonna run to sleep on top of the covers um until it gets like cold during the early hours of the morning if it does and yeah just have the long way so that's all that's really happened so sorry it's not really that exciting, but I've been working. Um, got tomorrow off and then I'm back in on Monday. Yay! So I will see if I can speak to you guys tomorrow. If not, then I will see you guys 
sometime early next week to wrap up this weekly reading vlog. <laughs> Today is Tuesday and I'm just here to update you as a weekly wrap up ending on everything that happened last week. I'm sorry I'm filming this sort of like late in the week and by the time I actually will have time to upload this, who knows, who knows when that will be because I'm very very busy this coming week. I went and saw Ben in the afternoon. I sat at the pub and had a cider and then they came and joined me and then I went to Ben's and I spent the day there, I spent a really nice time there, just mainly focusing on me and Ben because I haven't seen him since my show week on Wednesday so it's been over a week since the last time so I just wanted to mainly focus on me and Ben um, and I got that and it was really really nice, it was so nice, I had a really nice time, I managed to do a tiny little bit of reading whilst I was there. So I'm currently on a page 88 at the moment of a sky painted gold Merlot wood and that is literally the last thing I've read to be honest. So really I mean with the Bajuba run and everything like I finished a couple of books so I'm proud of that. So I managed to get some reading done but yeah, just came by really quickly. I was working a lot by the end of the week, Friday and the Saturday and then Sunday I saw Ben. So really I was busy towards the end of the week. But all in all, I'm still really proud that I managed to finish more than one book. So yes, that is the wrap up for last week's vlog. So do let me know down in the comments anything you'd like to know about last week and anything and any comments if you want to ask me about something that's totally totally fine let me know down below what you guys are currently reading at the moment and what's the latest books that you guys have purchased because I want to know but that's it from me I hope you guys are going to have an absolutely fantastic day wherever you are if you have enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up so that I know that you did enjoy it my name is Katie thank you very much for watching my video as always keep smiling keep reading and be happy and I'll see all of you wonderful awesome people in my next video bye